So I'm just hearing Nick Timothy has resigned. That is what we've just heard in the last few moments. Nick Timothy, one of two special advisers to Theresa May. Uh, what I was about to tell you was that we had heard uh, our assistant political editor Norman Smith had that understanding in the last couple of hours that a lot of senior Conservatives were demanding that Theresa May sacked her two chief advisers. Nick Timothy is one, Fiona Hill is the other. They had said that she must get rid of them by the end of the weekend otherwise they would seek to instigate a leadership contest on Monday. That is what the demand that had been made in the last few hours. So we are just hearing in the last few moments that Nick Timothy has resigned. Uh, we wait to hear whether there is any development around Fiona Hill, but that's what we've heard in the last few moments. One of the two has gone, Norman. Yes, and I think we're getting a sense of how Mrs May is now seeking to shore up her position because clearly that was, there was that ultimatum issued by Tory MPs in effect saying sack Mr Timothy and Fiona Hill or you will face a leadership challenge. Now Mr Timothy has voluntarily uh, resigned saying he takes responsibility for his role in the election campaign although disputing that he was responsible for the very, very controversial social care policy which was so widely criticised saying that this was a policy devised over many months. It wasn't his pet project. It wasn't something which he particularly uh, drew up. But I think we get a sense now of the operation within number 10 to shore up Mrs May's position because Mr Timothy and Ms Hill have almost become lightning rods for the criticism of Mrs May and in particular they are directly blamed by many Conservative MPs for the flawed election campaign, the manifesto for what was described this morning by one insider as the dysfunctional atmosphere inside number 10 and it was put to me that their departure was a litmus test of Mrs May's readiness to change, to show that she got it, she understood the implications of the election night and the need to change her style to be more uh, inclusive, collaborative, empathetic if you like. And there was a view that as long as these two individuals who've been with Mrs May through thick and thin, ultra loyal uh, sort of bulldogs on behalf of Mrs May, if they stayed beside her then there was no likelihood of Mrs May's style fundamentally changing. One has now gone and I suspect there must be a question mark about whether the other two, the other Fiona Hill will follow suit. And just as you are speaking Norman, in fact the Press Association reporting that Fiona Hill has resigned as well. So the Press Association mm. saying that she has also gone and that then Norman, that is what those senior Conservatives that you've been hearing from have wanted. Yeah, it's amazing how quickly uh, events have moved and I think that probably underlines just how fragile Mrs May's position is. She cannot afford in any way to risk facing down these Tory MPs, the idea that they might not perhaps launch the leadership challenge. She knows the threat.